Builders, what's up? It's our first show. I'm Matt. And I'm you Potter. are? Yes. This is our very first show. Um, we're super excited about this. We've been planning this for a long time. Yeah. For anybody watching this in playback, comment down below when you watch this, because there's no telling how far in the future will, you will have seen this. Um, we have a, we have a, we're, we're very excited about this project. We really are. Um, we come from completely different worlds and we've collided and we want to do this together and I'm extremely excited, but rather than me running my mouth the entire time, Potter, say something. <laughs> hey folks, how's it going builders? Like, uh, like Matt said, like we put this together specifically for you guys. Uh, we're pretty, we're on our path. We're on our crypto path. Uh, to live our lives in, like I'm kind of there now. Uh, you know, Matt is like days away. Love you know, you. when we look at it. Uh, so we just want to share crypto stuff, and because I know a lot, I got into it last year um, with a few thousand, and I turned that into a lot. Okay, let's let's it be cash. Okay, uh, so I turned that into a lot of stuff, and. I'm going to share. Let me put it like this. I'm not just talking, hey, you know, I, I did stuff. Like tomorrow's my last day. Tomorrow, no, Friday's the last day I'm going to be working. So I'm retiring early. It sounds, it sounds so clickbaity, but being on this side and knowing you and being able to watch that has been it's real. It's real. It's, it's, it's incredible. It's, real. it's, it's, it's crazy, but, and it's not for everybody. Like there are people who should just invest, um, in, uh, you know, the, the brick and mortar, if you will, the Coinbase, the Gemini, the Exodus exactly are two. Um, you know, they, that's what they should do. But the stuff that we're going to be teaching the stuff that you want to learn more about matt we're going to help people get there yeah it's it's sort of interesting how this has come about i like potter was saying like she's much she's much more well versed in this i am i'm optimistic about what cryptocurrency is but i am very skeptical i think i represent a majority of people that don't understand it that don't trust it that don't know it that it sort of come at it with a, a lens of like, what the hell is even happening <laughs> with this? Um, but I, I, uh, I have a very, I think a unique advantage. Um, I've been a content creator for a long time and I'm totally wanting to sort of document my learning. So my intention is to be optimist, optimistically skeptical and, you know, to ask Potter, like, what the hell is that? No, like explain that because there's so many people that are into crypto that when it comes to the content creation, I feel like it's extremely flashy. It people lean on buzzwords, but there's not much practicality behind it. Explanation um, about certain things or maybe, maybe putting it into layman's terms. Maybe that's, maybe that's a better way to put it. So myself being extremely uneducated, um, no. I've only, I've been okay. All right, I've been since 2017, but very subsurface stuff. Well, I, you're freezing sometimes, just to let you know when your hands are okay. doing all that. All right, all right, all right. I got something for that. Uh, hold, okay. hold. All right. Well, never mind. It's just you and I. So I'll uh, I'll hash things out here with you. I'll go solo with you here for a minute. Um, I've been in the crypto space since 2017. And very subsurface stuff. You know, I learned Bitcoin, a bunch of the ones that you know about, Ethereum and, and whatnot. And I believe there's, you know, some there's some place for it. I was just trying to slowly learn as the time went. And the farther that I've got into my own journey of I have my own business and uh, all of those things, I started looking at different routes in crypto. There was something about it that I felt uh there's something about it that I believe is never going to go away. I believe it's going to be a part of our way of life. So I want to learn it and I want to cut out all the bullshit. So, yeah. And now, now I cut your audio. My bad. Go ahead. Uh, no, no. I was just laughing. That's funny. And stop muting my mic, bro. 
Yeah, my bad. That was my bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what these that's what this kickoff show stuff is about. Yeah. So, you know, uh, we also don't want to keep everyone here in our sphere because this is very much about community. And you know, we're going to share the the people we watch to get our information. Literally go there. Um, uh, there's so many, uh, but the one I want to give a shout out to right now is uh, Ray from uh, Bartertown Conglomerate. He's he's like drip tastic. He does okay. everything drip, but at the same time he also branches out to other uh, chains like Avax or Avalanche. Hmm. Um, you know, for gaming, it, it, he's really he, he's really talented. Wow, look how far this mic's. Look how far the camera sees it sees that. Yeah, it does. It's a it's a wide lens. Right. Oh, that's right. That's why you're that's why you're that's why you look so much better. That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, you told me to get it. Yeah, that's right. She got some she got some new equipment. She's looking fantastic. Yeah, that's why. Okay, there you go. I can really <laughs> see you better. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Coolness. Yeah. So like let's just kind of go over some of the stuff that you're thinking about. Like Yeah, yeah, that works. Um like I was saying. Way, one sec. Yeah. I went to go get some delicious iced tea, and I was out. I was very disappointed to be deep. having orange drink. Not what I wanted. I wanted iced tea. Why didn't you get the tea? I was out. Oh, you were out. I was like, mm -hmm. you were out. Like I thought you meant like you were about to pass. I'm confused. Got it. Got it. Got it. That makes more sense. Um, I really need to get my water here in a minute. But, um, yeah. You, so. Potter came to me and she presented this like, you know, let's do a show. And I was like, what the hell am I going to do with a show about crypto? I've been, a, I've been a content creator for a long, long time, but not in the crypto space, not even close to the crypto space. And if I'm being honest, there is in, in, in every industry, but especially right now in crypto, there is a bunch of cringe that is going around. However, I've seen a bunch of good that's going around, but I've seen a bunch of cringe going around in crypto. You mean like FUD? Uh, no, just cringy, cringy people pushing things. Oh, and, okay, okay. Yeah, just, uh, just super cringe. oil salesman kind of just, people. Yeah, and, and they might be, they like, I don't know them. Maybe they're legit, but the way they present is, um, to me, it like just raises red flags. I'm like, I just, I can't trust that person. I can't trust that person. Mm -hmm. So, that's what we want to establish here. We want to establish uh, this place of trust. And, you know, what I am learning is that there is a certain amount of trust that you have to have within crypto. Um, you know, there, there is uh, just like, you know, whatever your currency is, but ours is the U S dollar. There's a certain amount of trust you got to have with that. Um, so some of the topics that we wanted to talk, talk about, um, there's a bunch, but I, um, I think some of the, the, super basic things and i think starting off with safety safety for people of understanding why should they get into this uh how is it really safe how is like how do i trust that because i i've even asked that question of like well how do i really know sure there's blockchain stuff and some people know the basics of that and all that but to an uneducated person you're like Maybe it's just computer magic and they can click a button <laughs> and take everything, you know, I mean, to the uneducated, an uneducated person, uh, you know, I, I tip my cap to them because I understand where they're coming from. So from a security standpoint, safety standpoint, why is it that crypto is sort of the route? Why is this such a trending thing? Uh, well, I mean, it's been going on for a decade, right? So uh, people have tried to break it. People have tried to hack it. Uh, some some more inferior blockchains uh, or protocols or DApps can get, you know, wrecked. But I don't know if there's a security reason why people are going towards uh, crypto. No, no, no. So I'm not. I guess I'm not. I'm not saying like why should people stop investing in fiat or stocks or whatever and go to crypto. What I I'm don't saying. think you're saying that. Okay, got it, got it. So, no, what I'm saying is, why would someone say yes to crypto if they have a lot of fear around? Oh, oh, oh. If they have well, a lot of fear of like, I don't know where this money, I don't know what's going to happen, you know? 
no, don't don't come in. Like if that is your mentality, stay out. It's it's not for you. Yeah. Like if you think that you can take, you know, grandma's life savings and you know, go for a sure bet in crypto, yeah, you're gonna wreck your grandma's savings, right? Yeah. The 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 motto is it's uh come in with what you can afford to lose. Yep. And in crypto, because I started so low and now Let's just say it's six figures. It, it just happened. Like I, I started, I've got the spreadsheets to prove it. I was like ten dollars, twenty dollars. You know, then I would bring in maybe five hundred. That would go away. But I think that anyone who is uh, worried about security, they need to stay out. It's it's not it's not for you. But you can completely enjoy crypto by your, um, like I said, your brick and mortar. It's not brick and mortar. They don't have stores. Yeah. But uh, traditional money. Uh, no, uh, Coinbase, uh, Coin Market Cap. Okay, all right, got it. Uh, Gemini, Exodus, Binance right. US. Those are Binance. like the, those are the main, very typical ones. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, where you where you leave your crypto in the custody of somebody else. Got it. Got right. it. I buy it. You keep it for me. Okay. And I'm going to trust that should there be a run, <laughs> that you'll still give me my stuff. A run meaning an increase in value. No, a run like everybody's going, oh, no, I need my money. I need my crypto asset. Uh, so they they all rush the see, system. Does it have? That's yeah. literal documentation of my learning. And for somebody else, I never knew what a run was. Like, is that is that a Potter term? Is that a crypto term? I don't think so. I, but I think it's financial. You know, what they would say um, – there's a run on banks. So Yeah. Okay. All right. There's a run on banks. People okay. go in. The bank's like, we don't have any money. And, the, and the federal government's like, and you don't have a bank anymore either. <laughs> okay. Got it. Got it. So I like I see, I like what you said just right then. Uh my question to you is basically security, how do they know it's safe to get in and all that? And you're saying, you know, if you if you distrust so much, if you're if you have so if you lead with fear with any investment, whether it's crypto or, you know, traditional, whatever, I, you probably shouldn't continue down that path. If, no, if, if you are completely fear based and that is what's driving you. Um, right. I agree with you, like whatever you're going to put in, like I've always looked at it in investing in anything ever. I have always thought if I'm putting money into this, I expect to lose it. Mm -hmm. Not, not in a negative standpoint or like this isn't going to work out, but like, when you go into it with that mentality, if you win, it's a bonus because you just you thought like, oh, I thought I didn't think that was coming back. Um, <laughs> you know, like I, that's, so, true. that's always been my mentality going into it. So I, there's a certain amount of trust that you have to adopt is what you're saying within crypto. Or, or uh, there's a certain amount of due diligence you need to perform. There's a, a certain amount of research you need to do from your wallet Okay. to, you know, what it means to uh, sign something, to, it, you just should know what you're getting into. There's so many YouTube videos and uh, there's so many different styles. Okay. Like, I don't expect everybody to like my style, but there's a style out there, you know, for everyone. And I could see like a lot of the people I watch, like Stunna Breezy, I could see how some people wouldn't, you know, like his in your face style, but I freaking love it. Sure. I love him going, you know, another one. Right? He he's funny. Um, Barter Town uh conglomerate, right? He's he just really cares. Like, mm. you know, uh he's a Christian, but uh he doesn't like, you know, wear it all on his sleeve or anything, but he's clear about his mission. And it's a, it's about building a community and you know me with actions, right? Blah, 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 blah. But it's your actions that matter. Yeah. So I, I kind of jump back, you know, to what we we're talking about versus, you know, the way that you should be when you come into the space. Mm -hmm. But the reason I went to them is because there's just so many personalities out there that can help you on your path. It's just which one is going to uh, work for you. Speak to you. Yeah. Well, and so – you hear like you hear people say that a lot, especially like in today's time. Like make sure you do your 
you hear people say, well, make no. sure you do your research on crypto, on sure you do the housing that. market, on whatever, whatever, mm-hmm. which I agree. But I guess the question would be, where do you know you're getting credible information when it comes to crypto when you're doing your research? Because for a lot of people, doing your research is just Googling, which how do you know if that's credible? Like, how do you know what you find? Yeah, you can't. Like, you, it takes time for you to embed yourself in a community. Okay. I understand that. It, you know, it's weird. Like, this this camera is so, like, I can see my, like, no, that's my pajama bottom. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oops. You can, tighten, you can tighten the angle up a little bit so it could be. Well, yeah, I'll do that next time. Okay, yeah, because cool. I don't want to see all of that. Like, my whole room. You're good. You're good. What is, what is well, that? And we'll we'll get you, we'll get your room squared away as far as like lighting and all that. We'll we'll get you square. You're good. Okay. It already looks so much better though. From the, oh really? Oh my gosh, without a doubt. Yeah. Oh cool. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Um, seriously, looks it really does. It looks fantastic. Um, so what you're saying is, like for you, when you were doing your research or going to find, you found communities that you believed in rather than you found a you went on google and was like what is this crypto or how do you learn this rather than that like you actually found a community yeah well accidentally um like when you first get in just you just imagine that everyone is like we're all here together we're all here to fight for something big and together we're degen do you hear me degen yeah, yeah. The heck is that? Uh, degenerates. <laughs> okay, degenerates. Okay, all right. Yeah, right. And that's right. Degenerate, you said, is like that's how most people are viewed in the crypto Bad space. Or degenerates. Okay, all right. Got it. Got it. Because they're the outsiders, right? They're the outsiders. Yeah. They're the okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, so where was I? Degen. I cut you off at Degen. Yeah, but uh, like community, that. togetherness. Uh, we're going to okay, fight. So for you find else. out that no, you're in with a bunch of good people but with some really bad people. Okay. <laughs> they All will right. steal your money. They will steal your grandma's money. They will steal whatever it takes. Hmm. Um, from the people who are like, hey, I'm, I can't get connected to MetaMask. Let me change my ID to MetaMask help. Hi, if you just send me your, uh, your uh, key phrase, I'll fix that up for you. Okay. So yeah. in... For the for again for someone that's never even heard MetaMask or uh, like keyword oh, catchphrase, yeah. MetaMask is basically your digital wallet. Would that be the quickest way to say that? Yep, that'd be your digital wallet. So if you got a you got a wallet in your back pocket, it's right here. It's just a di- digital version that is uh, password protected, and you have this phrase that you never give to anyone under any circumstances ever. I don't care if they got a gun to your head, like <laughs> yeah, you right. Um, and so what she was just saying was people can pose as like, you know, how do I reset this password? And they'll, you know, they'll say like, here's a key phrase. But yeah, what you're saying is there are a lot of swindlers out there. Got it. Yeah. But this is why the show is going to be awesome. Yeah. Right. Because you caught stuff like that. You know, I've done thousands of transactions. You know what I mean? I say this stuff and go. Yeah. That's it. Think about it. It's not even second nature to you. It's like first nature. Yeah. Yeah, which is so cool that I'm going to be able to do that full time start next week. Heck yeah, I'm happy for you. That's uh, that's surreal. That's surreal. It kind of feels surreal. Like I would it, imagine. Like I'm, I'm wondering how I'm going to feel on Monday morning. You know, like am I just going to open one eye? <laughs> no, because I'm going to come in and do my farm, and that's what I'm going to do. Pinch in yourself, type type. Yeah. Type mentality towards it. Yeah. Um, you just said farming, which is. Basically, basically, you working all of your crypto, working, yeah. like tending to it to make money yeah. and all that. Yeah. yeah, it's just like your crops. And it's funny because it's just like gaming too, you know. Um, you know, as a, a gamer who grinds, uh, okay. I've played one game for, I think, three or four years. And I've logged in literally every day. Three or four ever, years? Missed, yeah. Really? I've, I've logged in every day. This is what's going to be so interesting because of our like our demographics and our differences and and like I mean, that's what makes the world go around, right? But like how yeah. different, how different, like what you just said hasn't even crossed my brain that anyone does that. Like 
you know, that someone's played a video game for three to four years for whatever reason, uh, you know, like yeah. that doesn't it's even, thousands. Doesn't even have, I know, I know people that are gamers and all that. So it's going to be really, really interesting. Really. Yeah. And that's why gamers are going to like pick up on this stuff so easy. Yeah. That does make sense. That does make sense. But you know, the, after they get past the, what's a fiat, you know, what's a bridge and, yeah. You know, oh man, I got rugged. You know, after they get past they that run. and they start to feel out like any game, they you're gonna get comfortable. They're gonna be the best at it. Yeah. Like somebody's like, Would you rather five thousand dollars on Ethereum or ten thousand of let's just name a good token on just name a decent blockchain with five dollars you know that are worth five dollars i'll take the million for five dollars <laughs> right every time yeah. you know five thousand ethereum like i and i have stuff that is hostage <laughs> that's because you and you're saying that because you understand how the crypto works the taxes behind it is it in the mainstream has it um is and that's why you're saying that Oh, well, I'm, I'm kind of, let me, let me give an example. Okay. So my Ethereum is held hostage because uh, the gas is so high. So like, Ethereum yeah. being one of the main cryptocurrencies um, right there next to Bitcoin, uh, gas fees basically means the, the fees that it costs to transact, to move that Ethereum places. It costs money to do that. Ethereum is known for having a very, very high gas fee. So go ahead. Yeah, it's literally become a blockchain for the rich. Damn. Right? Okay. All right. And so I have I have $135 of it. No, that's not on there. I've got, well, that was $135, not $57. Um, I got $57 over there. I've got $600. No, I've got $50. Yeah, I've just got like $120 over there. It costs $120 in gas. <laughs> Just to move one of them. Seriously? It's, yeah, it's horrible. Wow. Like they're, they're hostage on that gene. There are so many people who can't okay. get their stuff out. Okay. Uh, so you literally mean it's hostage because if you move it, sure, you'll be able to pull profit or whatever. No, no I won't be able to pull profit. Because you have to pay so much gas fees. The the, the gas fees, it's like I, I tell people yeah. that it's like, hey, mommy, can I go to the ice cream store? Well... You know, ice cream is only a dollar, but for, I have to pay the person twenty five dollars to get your dollar ice cream. Yeah, it's if you want if you want to go get ice cream, it's going to cost you ice cream to get ice cream. Yeah, yeah. twenty five times more than the ice cream itself. No, that's a that, that's actually a really good uh, that's a good translation there. I want to go get ice cream. All right, you got to give me some ice cream to go get. <laughs> I don't have any ice cream. That, yeah, that's a good comparison. <laughs> give me 25. <laughs> I'll tell you what, just give me 25 cones, I'll give you a cone. What? Yeah, no. Um, so from the – let's speak real quick to the – I was sort of hinting around this in the beginning, but I like where it went. But let me circle back around to it that let's say someone is optimistic. They want to learn about it. Hopium. Who? Hopium. The heck is that like you have hope it's okay like, it's like you hope you mom <laughs> you know is that a, is that so you guys are going to learn that there's a lot of potter words and <laughs> words. Um, was that a potter word or was that a crypto word that's that's i've heard that before i did not come up with that okay that's crypto allegedly word. okay i was gonna say yeah. i i probably need to come up with like a little button for every time it's a question of is it a potter is it a potter word or is it a crypto word? So it's like, yeah, is it <laughs> a Potter word or a Potter word or a crypto word? So I wish you guys could hear this yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. Like you guys can't hear my sound effects. I got great sound effects. Oh no, I think I accidentally muted both of us on accident. Do it again. I think it I... So it's not playing within, it's playing uh it's playing through your board. Yeah. Okay. Playing through your board, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, that might work actually, because I don't want it to be like overbearing. True, 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 true. So what I was saying was for somebody that's optimistic, for somebody that's willing to learn, um, 
somebody that's, you know, somewhat skeptical, but uh, wants to learn. Because for me, the big question was, what is the security behind this? You know, and I think a lot of people don't understand the wallet, the key, the, like the um, the key phrases, um, like That's the right. password protected, password protected um, phrases, and all that. Like, once I understood uh, a little bit more of the blockchain, I think most people don't understand what the blockchain is. I don't fully understand what the blockchain is. Um, I understand the concept, but there's a lot of security. There's quite a bit of security and protection when it comes to making a transaction. Which is my background. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's perfect. Uh, that's a perfect translation and a perfect segue for you. So like for me to make a, a fiat, uh, you know, a US dollar or a traditional money, for me to make a transfer from my bank to a friend, I log in to my account and transfer it. That there's no verification, anything like that. Um, crypto- They already know who you are though true true you they know you they have your social security number all that stuff but crypto there's so much um verification you know uh, for for the layman you know the two step verification there's a crap load of that which is a great thing there's a lot of fail safes um and that's fantastic so i guess speaking to the security aspect how good is that or well there there are people who can go around it like you don't okay. have to be secure you okay. can go to some site your friend knows that somebody got bitcoin off of you know like there are ways to not be recognized i mean the criminal element is okay so you're saying you're saying coming into the space you have the ability to be completely anonymous yeah you have but like for me but it's not safe it's like why why would you do that like I want to know. I want them to know how much taxes I'm paying. You mean like you mean like the government as possible? You mean you mean like the government and stuff like that? Yeah. 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 Understood. And I'm like the same way. Yeah. Same everything way. that you do. That was the weirdest thing about blockchain, is that everything you do is exposed. So, you know, the fud that you hear on television. We have is our first. That, we have our first person watching. Yeah, that person's been there for a while. I missed it, and I feel like a jerk. So, welcome. That's really cool. I just pretended like you know. Oh Gary, no, I feel like fell asleep. I wish. Oh, I, knew that. I wish. What I does uh, V U R F Y I mean? Mm, that's a good question. I'm I'm questioning if that's spam. Okay. If it's not spam, no offense, but uh, let me know you're not spam. <laughs> Appreciate you stopping by.